Hello and welcome back to this course of videos on Node.js. In this video we'll be looking at the why of Node.js, so basically the benefits. It's important to note first of all that Node isn't a one-size-fits-all uh, solution for every single application. Node is extremely good uh, at handling high numbers of concurrent connections, high numbers of requests at the same time. So it would be extremely good for something like a real-time chat application. Um, another thing to note about Node.js is it's extremely low-level um, programming with Node, so it's perhaps not for beginners. Now, um, so the main benefit of Node is its performance and scalability. As I mentioned, high numbers of concurrent requests, and um, it scales very well. Now, you may ask, why is that? So. To explain that, we need to go back to a previous video when we talked about the way um, the event loop works. Now, um, Node is known as non-blocking. Now, non-blocking is the key thing. So, in this in this uh, model, we have um, requests going into the event queue, events, um, and then the event loop is then picking up these different requests and passing them off the thread pool to be actioned. So um, it, it's that, that's a non-blocking nature of it. Now, we, we used an analogy in the previous video, which was of a restaurant. So if you think about the, the single thread JavaScript and the event loop, it allows it to take, an, let's say, an order from a customer and then pass that order off to the kitchen staff in the back. Um, and by passing off that order to the kitchen staff, it frees itself up, non-blocking, frees itself up to then go and serve the next customer, the next request. Now, um, in with compare that to servers such as Apache. Now, what Apache will do is they will spawn a separate thread for every request. So for every user connection, it gets a separate thread. So back to our analogy, that would be for every new customer order, every new customer order would be allocated a separate server. And that server would then actually go out to the kitchen, uh, make the food, come back to the customer's table, um, give them the food, and then, then and only then would they be free to serve another customer. Now, the problem with this model is a, a, of creating a separate thread for every request rather than the JavaScript method of having a single thread that passes off um, is can be explained through these numbers here. Now these numbers are approximate but just to give you an idea of scale. So a user request to RAM will not will, can take around 250 CPU cycles. So not a big deal. We move up to something like a database request a database request can be 4 million CPU cycles. Now, if you go back to um, the, 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 the traditional server Apache model, this thread, or this server, is going to be sitting idle for these 4 million CPU cycles, waiting for the request to complete before the thread can complete its operation and move on to the next request, to the next customer. Move that to like a network request, for example, an API request to, to a Twitter API, 240 million CPU cycles. Now that thread is sitting idle for that entire time. Now with all these threads um, sitting idle, it's just, it's just taking up a lot of memory. Now this is the reason why um, Node is so much scalable than servers like Apache, because adding an extra thread that's going to be sitting idle a lot of time, in a lot of cases, um, for each request is going to just use up your memory very quickly. Whether, whereas with JavaScript, with a single thread, passing these um, requests off and non-blocking, keeping itself free, um, can keep, as, as the concurrent requests increase, it can keep its memory um, usage at a, at a more consistent level. Now, so that's, that's the reason, that's the benefit, the, the performance benefit of Node.js and what makes it so scalable. Now some of you may ask the question, hang on, you're saying it's single-threaded, 
But then you're talking about a thread pull that doesn't make any sense. And you're right, it doesn't. Um, single threaded, the name single threaded for uh, node is a slight misnomer. So the JavaScript components um, and, and the event loop and uh, the way JavaScript works in that sense, it, it does work on a single thread. However, when it passes off these requests to, to the thread pool, in our analogy, it was the kitchen style, um, these are being actioned by C++. Now, you remember a few videos ago, we talked about different layers of Node.js. At the core, we had the V8 engine, which is uh, the V8 engine which is used in Google Chrome. Now, that is built in C++. Now, then we had the second um, level layer of Node, um, which were, were the hooks into um, the V8 engine, the extension of V8 engine. Now, these are also built in C++. Now, and the, five, the third layer of Node.js, the outer layer, is the JavaScript layer, where the single thread operates. Now, um, the, the core, the, the, uh, the core levels, the C++ levels of Node.js, this is where the thread pool exists. This is where all of these database requests and network requests, these threads that are taking care of these, these are in the lower levels of Node.js in the C++ area. So I hope that explains the um, single threaded misnomer for Node.js. Now, one thing to note about um, Node, when working with Node.js is um, given that it is the JavaScript component is single threaded, it's important not to tie up that single thread with um, complex JavaScript code. Um, it leads to something called thread starvation. So if you think about it, you, you have this single thread, a uh, single JavaScript thread. Uh, now, if you wrote a, some code in Node, like a, a for loop that went through 20 million records, that's going to tie up this single thread for a very long time. And during that time, it's not going to be able to take any extra requests from customers. It's not going to be able to take any more customer orders. That's what's called thread starvation. So, like I said before, no, Node, um, it needs to be programmed in a particular way. The non-blocking aspect of Node, you need to code it in a non-blocking way. And there are ways to code that we will see in later videos uh, to show you how to ensure that your code remains non-blocking and doesn't starve this single JavaScript thread and instead passes it off to the C++ threads and then uses something called callbacks um, to be notified once C++ is done and it can be passed back to the, the single JavaScript thread. Now, we talked a lot about the performance of Node.js. Now, there are some other benefits I'd like to highlight to you. Um, one of them is the fact that basically it's written in JavaScript. So um, it's, it's a, a shallow learning curve for, for many developers because they tend to be used to working with JavaScript on clouds. And also you don't have to switch between when, when uh, you know, JavaScript on the client and then PHP or Java on the server, you have Java on both, sorry, JavaScript on both. So um, that, that makes programming easier, that's a benefit. Um, another benefit is um, something called NPM, Node Package Manager. Now this is an open source suite of software that you can that you can plug into your Node.js application and perform any number of fantastic things. It, it is a, a real help um, and it is open source. You can contribute to it, to it if you like as well, but that's a great benefit. Uh, finally, um, Node allows you to uh, perform streaming uh, very well. It gives you a lot of control over streaming. Now, streaming, you probably heard streaming from, for example, Netflix when you stream a movie. So, yes, it applies to movies, but it, it really applies to any kind of files. Transferring a file from A to B efficiently, you need to stream it. You need to break it down into something called chunks um, and then send those separately in order to, to transfer efficiently. Now, Node gives you a lot of power to do that, so that is another benefit of Node, and makes it suitable for something like a, um, a file upload client. 
um, no, no could be used in that way very effectively. So I hope this gives you a good overview of the benefits of Node, and I will see you in the next video.